My name's Guy Kestivan and I've been testing uh, bikes professionally for nearly 25 years and in that time I've seen a lot of radical bikes and the very definition of radical has changed a lot. But this is genuinely something sick. Uh, I mean literally. Uh, let me introduce to you the on one. Hello Dev. Uh, so called because uh, this is basically a sick bike but it's on one's life now. If you've ever watched the uh, chilling words of uh, Papa Lazarou on League of Gentlemen, uh, you'll understand that. If not, you just have to Google it. But yeah, as you can see, uh, this is a large frame, and I don't know if you noticed as I pulled it out of the box, it's so long it doesn't fit in a standard bike box. That's a 1293mm uh, wheelbase. I mean, that's big for a full suspension downhill or enduro bike. And when we put this front wheel in, and as you see, 29 of wheels. So let's whip the axle out and get this front wheel in. You'll have an idea of just how radical the geometry Come on, oh, ready torque caps. They're great when you get a torque cap hub, but until that point, they're rather a pain in the butt. Let me just snug that up there before I forget. And as you can see, I mean, this, uh, you're getting a Pike Select fork on the front here, 150mm travel, but the real numbers to talk about here are 62 degree head angle, and 77 degree seat angle, so super steep seat angle pushing you forwards, crazy slack front end. Uh, this is actually a standard offset fork, but uh, production bikes will come with a short offset fork as well. I'll be honest, these Enduro 6 bars are a bit of a weird shape. Uh, got them on the big dog that I unboxed recently as well, and they're a bit high rise for my taste. I mean, some people might like them because uh, the kids tell me that stack is uh, a wonderful thing, but I can see me uh, choosing a flatter bar and uh, throwing away a lot of these spaces to get more aggressive ride height at the front. But then that's one of the beauties of uh, buying a bike from Planet X. You can uh, change bar, change stem spec uh, in their bike builder, because all the bikes are kind of hand built to order in Rotherham in Yorkshire before they get sent out. out. So, I mean, they are a direct, you know, they're a direct sale setup and they, you know they make incredible value bikes by looking out for opportunities just like this where they can get a load of tubes and some sort of almost like it's kind of like a part baked loaf i guess this. the original the first hello dave's that came through had the uh, original sick bikes back end on as well uh, but this has got a more on one design back end so as you come in close here on one used this design quite a lot but this is a particularly neatly executed version of it this uh, chainstay plate there which uh, gives loads of tire clearance I mean, it's actually curved on this it's flat on a lot of bikes so loads of space around even this 2.6 inch tire and then if we move it around a little bit more you can see machine detailing in the uh, rear rear of the chainstay there i mean this is a really nice piece on here and this is a proper quality frame and like i said triple butted main tubes and then little details like that you've got a replaceable hanger for when you crash it because this is i mean this is a bike design for properly radical riding so you probably are going to bin it at some point and then a super strong uh seat stays up here and then this really extended uh, mainframe you got big old throat gusset on there and then as you can see it's properly neat welding i mean they do three painted color bikes and then they do a raw one as well uh which comes in the phosphate finish which you'll, you'll also see on the uh, boot zipper video uh which i really like actually because it kind of degrades into a slightly rusty kind of rack bike finish but so that's the frame. Uh, I mean, it is tank heavy, uh, but you've got uh, ISCG mounts down there. And as you'd expect, it's a uh, screw in bottom bracket and bottle cage mounts there. All external cable routing and semi internal uh, routing for this uh, reverb dropper post. So in terms of build, uh, on one or only offering uh, one complete build at the moment uh, that comes in a penny under 1500 quid. And you are getting, a, as typically for on one, you're getting a huge amount for that money. Uh, starting from the tyres, uh, flow snap, uh, 
fairly sturdy tyre, not exactly the most supple or, uh, you know, lively feeling tyre, but super tacky compound and the tubeless ready and this synthesis carcass is uh, e-bike tough. So this is a bike designed to take some hammer and uh, it's set up with the appropriate tyre. It's sitting on these uh, Mac 1 rims. Uh, so again, tubeless ready, just like the tyres, you just need to put the conversion kit in there and they're a reasonable width and hand-built wheels, big sturdy Novatec hubs. So it's, again, it's nothing, you know, nothing super lively, but very sturdy, very strong and well suited to the bike. Really big rotors here on on a, uh, I mean, this is actually a guide brake on this bike, but production bikes will be coming through with my personal favorite guide RE, which is basically the code caliper, the downhill caliper down there. Uh, okay, moving up the bike, we've got this uh, Pike Select, 150 mil travel, uh, basic charger compression damper on the top, uh, rebound down the bottom, but just the classic kind of trail and slope style fork from RockShox. Up top here, we've like I say, I'm not entirely convinced on the shape of these Enduro 6 bars from On One, but you can change to other bars in the build spec. Again, ignore those levers, those should be guide REs, but the GX shifters are right. And so remarkably is the fact you're getting a uh, RockShox reverb uh, post on this bike for uh, just 1500 quid, which, uh, you know, is spectacular value, I have to say. And then up front, we've got this descendant stem in a 40 mil length. So again, you know, exactly the right kind of length for that super slack 62 degree head angle. Down here, we've got a GX crank. So really nice broad forged arms, plenty stiff. It's a dub bottom bracket. In behind there, as I say, you've got these ISCG tabs. If you want to hit a chain, fit a chain device, not that I think you need to. And then at the back, you've got GX Eagle rear mech uh, with a clutch and with cage lock. So all the usual SRAM fittings, uh, SRAM chain, and it is a SRAM cassette, but it is the heavyweight uh, 1230. So it's on a Shimano free hub and you're only getting an 1150 rather than a 1050 spread. And that is a chunk of weight. But then again, this bike is basically built like a tank. So, uh, you know, I don't think you're going to be choosing a Hello Day based on... Uh, the numbers in terms of weight i think you're very much going to be choosing it in terms of geometry right just turning it around to see some of the detailing at the back now we've got again ignore that that should be a guide re brake but it sits on this really neat little post mount here just keeps it out of the way of any uplift damage or crash damage you've got 148 mil boost axle in these really neat uh dropouts and I no, no idea why it's only got three bolts in there, but I'll be adding three more because that 160 mil rotor is going to have to do a lot of work. Uh, there is a revision coming through in the pipeline to put, put 180s onto that, but the current frame is 160. Moving back up here again, having a look at the detail around the chain stays there. I mean, this is more. It's, this is 385 quid for the frame only, which is more expensive than most on one steel frames, uh, but they really have put some nice detailing into this. And you've just got the uh, dropper post outlet there. And like I say, super short seat tubes throughout the range. So even with a 175 mil shaft on the dropper post, you're getting uh, plenty of uh, drop on the bike. And then coming up this super long down tube, uh, the last contact point to talk about are these uh, lock on grips. Again, not everyone's gonna get on with that uh, metal collar on the end, but in the on one bike builder, you can spec whatever grips and whatever saddle that you want. Uh, and they'll put it together in Brotherham for you. So we've uh, finished saying hello to Hello Dave now. Uh, hopefully I'll be heading out and feeling what this tube's at and what these crazy angles feel like on the trails in a responsible and solitary manner sometime soon for a live ride review. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to click for notifications. If you really like what I'm doing, have a think about uh, supporting uh, the channel on Patreon just for a month, small monthly fee where you get exclusive early edits and behind the scenes stuff. I'll be doing a load more unboxing because it kind of suits the situation we're all in at the moment. But thanks for your time. I've been Guy Kestivan. This has been Guy Kez TV. And this is the genuinely radical some would say, really sick, on one, hello Dave.